My name is uh, Moussa Arifai. I'm the Group General Manager for Arifai International Holding, a company that was founded in 1948 by my grandfather, Moussa Arifai. Today we are the leaders in the nuts and kernel industry. We have over 300 stores in the Middle East. We have cashews from Brazil, macadamia from Australia, peanuts from Argentina and China, pistachios from the US. It's all about getting this product into our facility here, cleaning them, processing them and cooking them, and distributing them to our stores. My father joined the business and he started more to work on standardizing the concept. So he was more into how he could use the power of marketing to basically create a concept in the mind of the consumers. And he worked heavily on that, but unfortunately, we had the civil war for a period of 20 years. That kind of didn't stop the business, but the business was kind of stagnant. Soon after the war ended, we started to follow the, the change in consumer trends. Supermarket chains started to open up in the countries, shopping habits started to change, so we had to adapt to that and follow them into the supermarkets. In Lebanon, basically, we have 60 stores, and the, the concept was so successful in Lebanon that it attracted the attention of regional businesses. So we have started to franchise our concept, and we operate now in basically most of the GCC and the North Africa region. The next growth region for us, which is accessible, is Europe. We've spotted a, an interesting opportunity for the group, which was in, in Sweden. And we started up a factory in 2007, just to supply the European market. It's a slightly different product because of simply consumer habits. The European basically are used to consume nuts by basically they have a bag of chips and they just eat the whole thing. Whereas in Lebanon, nuts are savored one at a time. So it's very natural for the European consumer to eat the nuts all in one go. But unfortunately, you cannot do that because you have the pistachios, which have a hard shell. So the consumer doesn't know that you need to peel off the hard shell. Same goes for hazelnuts. So we've had a lot of complaints about broken tooth because simply the consumer wasn't able to spot the shell on the pistachio. So we had to basically come up with products that doesn't contain shell or they need to do some efforts to peel off the nut to eat it. When we opened up our facility in Sweden, because of the high cost of labor and the high cost base that we faced there, we had to automate a lot. So it was all about how can we reduce our costs. We spent a lot of time trying to transfer the know-how from a people-based know-how into a machine-based know-how. So you have computers basically making sure that you're running the right temperature, the right color. The only area which involves a lot of manual labor is the packaging. It will always be that case because of the nature of the operation. We decided to transfer that know-how into the Lebanese factory. By end of 2013, we will be actually relocating to our new facility. And the same production processes that you have used in Sweden will be used in the Lebanese facility. Economy 11 has been through many ups and many downs. And unfortunately, we've seen good results in both. When the country was relatively stable and we've had a good influx of tourists, we could feel that in our sales because we, not only through the sales of our stores, but sales through the hotel and, and business. However, in bad times, people would actually stay home. And if you're home, you're bored, basically. You're either watching TV, or you have family over, or you have close relative over. So what do you want to do then? You want to have something to snack on, just to enjoy or let the time pass by. And then nuts come in at that time. But of course, the impact of when the economy is stable is much greater than when, they, when, when the economy is at a, at a down cycle. 